Hello guys, my name is Pedrash Migari Achit Kumar. I created MS in Physics at IIT Roorkee. In this video, we are going to learn BCD to hex conversion. Proceeding further, let us know what are BCD numbers. The full form of BCD is binary coded decimal, which is another process for converting decimal numbers into their binary equivalents. It is a form of binary encoding where each digit in a decimal number is represented in the form of bits. This encoding can be done in either 4 bit or 8 bit. It is a faster and efficient system that converts the decimal numbers into binary numbers as compared to the They are generally used in digital displays where uh, the manipulation of uh, data is quite a task. VCD plays an important role because the manipulation is done by treating each digit as a separate single subsecute. Here uh, we can uh, look at uh, the decimal numbers and their respective equivalent VCD code. Now, what are hex numbers? Hex is nothing but hexadecimal. Hex numbering system uses the base of 16 system and it is a popular choice for representing long binary values because their format is quite compact The hexadecimal numbering system we use the numbers from 0 to 9 and the capital letters A to F to represent its binary or uh, decimal number equivalent starting with the least significant digit at the right hand side. Let us have a look at uh, the decimal numbers and their uh, equivalent hexadecimal numbers. Now, what is our aim? We need to convert uh, BCD to hex. For that, let us take uh, a simple example of a two digit number. So, two digit decimal number which will be in the form of PCD, we need to convert it into hexadecimal number. For that, we need to proceed through the algorithm, write the algorithm first. And uh, the algorithm is as follows so, we need to initialize the memory pointer to 4150 hex. And then we need to get the most significant digit. And uh, we need to multiply the most significant digit by 10 using repeated addition. Why by 10? Because uh, here we have taken uh, a two digit number. That is why we have to multiply the most significant digit by 10. And then we need to add the least significant digit to the result obtained in the previous step. And at final we will store the hex data in the memory. Let us take a look at the program. Now, uh, let us simulate uh, this using the GNU simulator. So, the program is written here. What does this program mean? First, we have initialized the memory pointer to 4150H. Then, uh, we have uh, taken the most significant digit and uh, multiplied it uh, 10 times by repeated addition then we have given the least significant digit and uh, it is added to form the final hexadecimal final hexadecimal number which we need and at final the sto uh, result is stored now uh, the program is assembled successfully and uh, at 4150H, let us give uh, 3, 0, 30. And I am executing it. The equivalent hexadecimal number is 1E, which can be seen uh, near in the register section now let me suppose uh, change the value to 2 and 9 the most significant digit is 2 and the least significant digit is 9 
and execute then uh, the equivalent hexadecimal number is given as 1d let me just take uh, something like 77 and 5 and execute I have got that 75 is equal to 4b thank you guys for watching this video have a nice day